Hello, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be your love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone watching. Feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. And I just wanted to say that I'm sending a lot of love and light and positive positive energy your way. I know these are really trying times and there's a lot of uncertainty right now. So sending a lot of um, serenity and peace your way. So let's get started. I'm going to be pulling from these oracle decks here. I've already shuffled them off camera. So I'm just going to cut the deck. So let's start for Sagittarius, please. Let's see what we have for you guys. Between worlds. Okay. So this card for me is kind of um, having one foot in one place, one foot in the other. But I am going to read this message because I just felt called to do that because sometimes when I read the messages, I feel like there's something in there that you guys might take from it. So let's see what your other message is here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm recovering from a cold, so please bear with me. Okay. And then we have coming apart. Okay, so there could be some sort of separation that you are currently experiencing or that might be happening. So we're going to look at the tarot to see what messages we get. Um, but first, let me read that one message. Number three. This is a time to explore the new energy between you and another. It is not a moment for certainty, but rather for discovery and curiosity. You don't yet know if this will last forever. So allow yourself to explore who you are and what is reflected back to you. This relationship is meant to educate you about yourself. What do you need? What do you like or dislike? What values are important to you? You are in a critical phase of your relationship that is not to be dismissed or hurried. So this card, I feel like it's about transitions, not being quite out of one situation and fully in another. So kind of like a no man's land. And that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. I think these two cards go very well together. You might be um, transitioning out of a relationship, um, you or the person that you are dealing with. Um, or maybe you haven't really decided where you want to be at just yet. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius in regards to love? Messages for Sagittarius, please. In regards to love. What does Sagittarius need to know in regards to love? One more. What does Sagittarius need to know in regards to love? So whatever situation I talk about today could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future because time is fluid and roles can be reversed. So even though I'm talking about your person, um, ooh, opening up with the world, okay. Even though I'm talking about your person, if it, you know, feel free to flip it if it resonates more. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed on my videos recently. Um, I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments and they're mostly positive, so I'm very grateful. Please consider liking or subscribing if you enjoy this reading. All right, let's see Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius, please, in love. Messages for Sagittarius, in love. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, nice. Interesting. So we open up with the world and then we see an ace, an offer, pretty much. And I've been getting this a lot. A lot of um, ace, well, aces, yeah. For the last couple readings I've done. Nine of Pentacles. What else for Sagittarius Spirit? What else does Sagittarius need to know regarding love? The Magician, okay. I'm loving this energy so far. I feel like someone sees you like this Nine of Pentacles energy. That's the energy that I'm picking up. Yep. Someone's watching you. 
probably on social media or just they know of you. Um, maybe you're recently single, maybe you're just doing really good right now and this person cannot help but notice. It's way too many. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Sagittarius? I feel like this person has been manifesting an offer, either you or this person. Six of Swords, interesting. So this is a spread I'm trying out to kind of simplify. I have recent past, current energies, and near future, but I'm looking at the spread as a whole. Um, so what I'm seeing here is someone's manifesting an offer coming into them, um, either making an offer or receiving an offer. Someone's leaving a relationship is what I see, um, closing a cycle to begin a new one, which makes sense with the cards that we got. So there is some sort of separation that has taken place or will be taking place for either you or this other person you're dealing with. I feel like someone has manifested this, this new beginning for themselves. Um, and I really am getting that someone's watching you. Um, see how this page of swords is watching the nine of pentacles, almost like, you know, very interested, um, wanting to get more information from this person, wanting to contact this person. Um, that's just the energy that I'm picking up there. So let's clarify and get more information. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Sagittarius, please. <clears throat> Excuse me. Please help me clarify these messages for Sagittarius in regards to love. So let's start with the world. Spirit, tell me about the world. Why is the world here for Sagittarius? All right, so we got the Three of Cups. So either there was some sort of third party situation or someone wants a reunion of some sort to come together with someone here. Tell me more about the world. Some of you are just celebrating your freedom. I just got that. I heard that very clearly. It's almost like you are ready for this new cycle to begin in your life and you just can't wait to get started. There's the magician again. Someone is manifesting this new beginning, like I said. Anything else for the world? Thank you. And there's the Knight of Cups. Yeah. Someone's manifesting an offer. This could be an apology. It could be an offer of, you know, expressing how they feel, that they want to have a new beginning with you. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, but that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing someone manifesting this offer coming in. Um, and that's going to start a new cycle is what I'm seeing here. So let's see what else we have. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. This is a solid offer here, okay? Anything else for this Ace of Pentacles? And this offer, um, I feel like it's gonna start you off on, wow, look what we got, oh my gosh. So right away we got the Four of Swords and the Ace of Cups. So definitely new love. A new stable offer someone has been either um, someone's gonna think about this offer with the four of swords or someone has recently healed from a situation or this love offer will help them heal is what I'm getting so we can get one more can I get one more for the ace of Pentacles please oh, I got two more the hangman, someone might really be kind of um, hesitating when it comes to this offer. For others of you, um, this offer coming in is going to be something that you kind of let go and have faith um, that it might work out. Um, I'm also getting some of you are kind of in this between worlds state here with the hangman. Um, I do see these two energies going along, like going well together, where you don't know exactly which way to move forward or backward. And so you're kind of stuck or again, hesitating. 
And then I have the Ten of Cups here. So there's opportunity here for long-term happiness, fulfillment, emotional fulfillment with this offer. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. This person could be um, is this independent, secure, grounded, confident. Um, this is also someone that could be single. Spirit, tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Thank you. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. Someone wants to approach this Knight of Pentacles with a message. Tell me more, please, about this Nine of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Nine of Pentacles. For Sagittarius. Nine of Wands, okay. So someone here could be putting up walls. Um, they've probably been hurt in the past or are just, just guarded with the Nine of Wands. This person could be wanting to break down those walls with the Knight of Swords to communicate something. Five of Swords. Okay, so probably something happened here with the Nine of Wands and the Five of Swords. Either a con like some sort of disagreement or um, a fight or, you know, something happened here with the Five of Swords. I feel like whatever happened with this Five of Swords energy, it forced someone, someone else to be guarded to protect themselves, to protect their heart. I feel like it's that Nine of Pentacles energy. Um, and maybe this Knight of Swords wants to make that right. Or maybe this Knight of Swords wants to make this offer to the Nine of Pentacles. And it's like they know they're going to have to break down some walls to do that. Tell me about the Magician. I'm also getting that some of you are not going to accept this offer. Um, some of you are happy being single. Some of you made the choice to be single. And so for some of you, you are okay on your own right now. So the magician and I have six of swords. Again, I have six of swords twice here. Someone, okay. And then I have the knight of wands. Someone's manifesting someone else to leave a situation so they can approach. This person could live at a distance from you and they're on their way to see you. And someone has manifested this. Tell me more about the magician. That was sloppy. Tell me more about the magician. What's the magician about spirit for Sagittarius? Someone's leaving a situation and heading somewhere else. The high priestess, they probably use their intuition to do this or someone's not communicating that this is what they're doing. Maybe someone has kept to themselves that they are moving forward towards someone else. And this is like a secret. Tell me about the page of swords. Page of Wands, yeah, there's a message that's probably going to be coming in here. Tell me more. Six of Cups, geez, I keep getting the Six of Cups. And I'm sorry for those of you in the comments that are like, I don't want my ex. <laughs> well, I w really wish that I didn't have to talk about exes, <laughs> but I always get the Six of Cups. I don't understand. So, you know, I'm just going to say it. This could be someone from your past. Doesn't have to be, though. This could be someone also who you have a very strong connection with, um, like a past life kind of connection, um, where you've met this person in a past life, you had a history with this person. Um, and so, you know, you want, there's, there's love here, I feel. There's attraction here um, because of the connection. Let's see if we can get one more. Tell me more about this page of sorts. Okay, we got the King of Cups. So yes, there's a lot of love here, a lot of emotion behind this message coming in 
someone could have children. That's just for some of you. Because I, I think about the Six of Cups, especially in this deck, is someone having children. Or it could just be someone that is very nostalgic, has really good memories with this person, can't stop thinking about this person because of the nostalgia. But again, that would make this someone from your past or someone that you know already. So let's see what the Six of Swords is. So there's communication coming in, is what I'm seeing. There's a message that's going to be delivered at some point regarding this person's emotions. Tell me about the Six of Swords. And someone has had to leave a situation or has already left it in order to get this to happen. Tell me more about the Six of Swords, thank you. Seven of Pentacles, another card that I keep getting. Again, this is about looking back and, you know, wondering if something is going to play out, wondering if you invested in the right thing, wondering if you put an effort and time into something that will actually, you know, give harvest or grow. Somebody, somebody probably felt they were wasting their time in a situation that they were in and they've decided to leave. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Someone's leaving. It could be you. It could be this other person you're dealing with. Because um, I do think this could be a third party situation for some of you. So if that's the case, um, one of you is leaving some, someone or something. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. I got the Six of Swords twice. So in the Eight of Cups. So definitely a departure. Something coming apart here. Tell me more about the Six of Swords, please, Spirit, or Sagittarius. <clears throat> so we got the Four of Cups and the Five of Cups. So there's some sort of sadness, regret, despondency, someone that's not happy, not fulfilled. Um, Someone could also be thinking that they don't want to lose an opportunity. Um, they're regretful for losing an opportunity in the past and they don't want that to happen again with the Four of Cups and the Five of Cups. I feel like this person was not happy where they were at. They were not happy where they were at and they decided to go after something that made them happy, that fulfilled them. So let's use some soul's journey cards just to see if we can get some more insight spirit what other insight can you give us regarding this situation for sagittarius in regards to love any other messages for sagittarius in regards to love okay any other messages for sagittarius please thank you all right so we got two denial i acknowledge my fear but i replace it with the insight of awareness Someone here was probably denying their true feelings or um, denying that they had to make this decision. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So I think with imagination, what I'm getting is someone manifesting. Someone imagining something else, wanting something else for their life. This could be you or this other person. Um, but something's going to be coming in. There's an offer that's going to be coming in um, a cycle that is closing for for a new one to begin and that really reminds me of this between worlds card there's something that's ending in order for something new to begin anything else for sagittarius please for love thank you courage I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. This per person probably um, is going to need courage to either leave the situation, to go after a new beginning, or to make this offer. Because I feel like for some of you, like I said, some of you might, might be hesitating about this offer with the hangman, or this could be somebody that's really thinking about making an offer here and possibly needs courage in order to do that. This person could be kind of mentally stuck, not moving, um, be, you know, about making this offer, even though this is exactly what they want. They want their Ace of Cups. They want their Ten of Cups, you know. They want happiness. And I feel like they want it with this Nine of Pentacles down here. 
I'll leave it here. Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me for this video. Again, I send a lot of love and light to you, a lot of positivity and peace during these times. Please hit the like button or subscribe if you like my readings. And thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed, commented, or participated in the channel. I really appreciate you. And I hope to see you back soon. Take care.